Well, uh, Aperol is 100 years old, but actually we bought it 13 years ago, and since then it's been growing exponentially. We have a very well-defined growth model in three different stages, which means that even in the markets where it was first established, like Italy, we continue to grow double-digit, and we refine the model and export it to all the other countries. Bear in mind, though, uh, currently about our top 10 markets represent 80% of our sales, which means that we've got really the world ahead of us and can take that much, much further. It's a very interesting example of a marketing exercise, and you've taken this on 13 years ago. I mean, it's got half the alcohol of Campari. What is the attraction, or, or does it show that if you put the right marketing behind any success alcohol, you can actually create this kind of phenomenon? No, I don't think it's uh, across all categories. I mean, Aperol is a specialty. Its uh, signature drink is the Aperol Spritz, which is a low ABV. It's roughly 8.5% alcohol. It's very fresh and it's first quenching, has a beautiful color. And the big change we did was to put it from a little rock glass into a big wine glass, which renders it much more glamorous. It's very profitable for the trade, and especially consumers love it. I mean, if you have one sip of it, you'll end up sessioning it and having two or three Aperol Spritzes. Which, uh, and if you look at the intrinsics, its source of business is actually beer. Two thirds of the source of business is beer, one third is wine and sparkling wine and champagne. So the source of business is absolutely huge. Sounds like a Friday night conversation we're having, Robert, but uh, let's push on. And I want to talk about growth by regions because often in a lot of the drinks businesses, we've seen strong growth in the Asia Pacific market. But when it comes to your business, it looks like the growth is still concentrated around the Americas. Talk us through that. Well, we've had very strong growth across all of our regions, with the exception of Asia Pacific, where particularly Australia was impacted by the late Easter. Uh, in the US, we grew double digits, uh, 11%. That's our largest market. But if you look at the, and we grew also strongly in the rest of North America, 15% in Canada, 20% in Jamaica. Looking at South America, we, we had a very easy comp base, uh, to be fair. I mean, Q1 and 18 uh, was actually pretty disastrous. So very strong double-digit growth this year was uh, a natural phenomenon. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.